really good contact with the call room we could probably try to get that uh, information but yeah, I'm, I'm looking the the athlete beside Antonio Watson looks to be Bembridge I thought it was Zarnett all the way down to lane two so we don't have a lane two currently on our start list do you no, I, I don't have a lane two on your marks So it looks as if VTDI, VTDI was is in lane two. two. And it should have been in three, unless there's been a change. Let's see if we can catch up with the latest. Set. So they're set off. It's VTDI in lane three, Dynamic Speed Track Club in four, GC Foster B in five, Micah University College in lane six, and Racers Track Club in seven, GC Foster A is uh, out there in lane eight. So Racers Track Club in lane seven, and we're seeing. He'll try as best as possible to update you. Legacy, is also Legacy Athletics in lane two. So it's Jeremy Bembridge on the outside for Racers Track Club in lane seven. Was and is leading this field. Derek Luke on the inside for GC Foster B. Racers will make the handover first. We'll complete the first to 400 meters. It's Antonio Watson for Racers. With the baton in hand, the 400 meter world champion. So, races GC Foster B, GC Foster A. And then looks to be Legacy Athletics and Mike University College who are battling it out for the minor places. So, it's races and GC Foster College. They go into the straightaway. Antonio Watson for Racers Track Club being pressed, being pushed, but now steps on the accelerator. Antonio Watson on the second leg for racers. Javon White for GC Foster College on that second leg. Now it's Zarnell Hughes who anchored the racers four by one team to a victory earlier today. Racers continues to lead GC Foster College. Try to stay close to racers track club being caught zarnell may be in a bit of trouble does gc foster college come and upstage racers track club at this point oh i was about to say at this point it looks like they will but he stumbles a bit but still is able to hand off first one lap to go so the exchange made Michael Sharp it was so GC Foster and races it's Zantrian Barnes for GC Foster College and if that's Zantrian Barnes I think GC Foster College is well set to win this final club and institution race Zandrian Barnes a sub 45 second man at his best Zandrian Barnes for GC Foster College will lead GC Foster College to victory ahead of races Zandrian Barnes 307.08 the flash time 307.10 hey. Yeah, that's GC Foster College winning it there. So, Racer saying, hey, we came and did work on screen. Zandron Barnes, as Renardo said, leading GC Foster College to a nice victory on the anchor leg, going sub 310. Now, let's think about it. 307 for the senior men, the high school boys in about two races may challenge that time we saw kingston college on 308 recently that looks like javier brown it is Xavier brown formerly of jamaica college uh, 
400, the 400 meter hurdles class one champion the boys and girls athletics championships we're going up against a solid 400 meter man in Zandra and Barnes of GC Foster College Zandra and Barnes as I said has shown himself to be a solid sub 45 man when you can run one lap in under 45 seconds not with a running start out of the blocks you're a solid runner in the 400 so that was quite a battle from the senior men when racers with a big team include